Hi everyone. Today we are going to be looking at how to use aliases in Postgres. You can use an alias to rename a column or a table when you are running a query. Again, you can use an alias to rename a column or a table when you are running a query. However, in today's video, I will only be showing you how to use alias to rename a column. By the time we get to the aspect of me teaching you how to join tables or multiple tables, I will be teaching you how to use alias to rename the tables at that time. Okay, but today let's focus on how to use alias to rename a column. Let us take a look at this example, guys. Let's assume that we have a select star, which you already, already, you already know, which I've shown you before, right? From the film table. If we click this, let us execute. Good. You can see right here that we have different columns. Film ID, title, description, release year, language ID, and you know, all these different column names right here. Okay. But let's assume now that we have been asked to only show these few uh, columns. Let's take a look at this. Length, we want to take a look at length. We want to take a look at um, rating. We want to take a look at title. Okay. We want to take a look at, let's say, description. Okay. Now, let us run these four columns. Let's take a look at these four columns. Good. Now, you see we have length, rating, title, description, right? But there are times that the name of the columns maybe is not so intuitive to you or maybe you want to uh, speak with stakeholders or you want to have a data visualization and you, therefore you would like to rename these columns right you want to give them a temporary name and those temporary names they are only as part of this uh, query just only for this query it's not going to affect the database okay let's take a look at this now how do i give these columns a temporary name that is going to appear on this table right here that is when we use the alias or the alias and that's when we use uh, alias and for alias we use what we call as clause as as okay so now i'm going to say select length as what name do i want to give to it let's say i want to give it this name length i can say length of film I want to give this length length of film so that length of film is what is going to be in that column instead of calling it length let's say for rating i want to give it film rating okay take note like i said this is the alias that i'm giving it length of film instead of length film rating instead of rating what is going to help me to be able to accomplish that is this as clause this as clause is what is doing that magic right now for title i can say uh, make my title to be called let's call it name of let's call it name of film okay this this description i will leave it right there i'm not going to give that an alias okay now if you look at this now let me run that good i have run it now you can see right here now that instead of me having length that it was before now i'm writing length of film so anybody that sees this now understand what i'm talking about that i'm talking about the length of the film if i like i can say duration i can say duration of film i can say duration of film okay now this one is film rating instead of rating i call it film rating instead of title i call it name of type name of film okay you can see that then description that is how you can be using the alias guys you can see that using alias helps you to give it a more intuitive name as you want it or as you want to you know show to your um, stakeholders and take note again like i said that this alias that you are using right here it's only going to affect it for this 
query for this query take for example if i change this length of film now if i change it to duration duration of film and if i run this you can see right here now this changed to duration of film okay so this alias only stays or it only appears or only works during that uh, uh query not only just for that query it doesn't affect the um the database it doesn't change anything in database and it is temporary and it is temporary okay it is temporary all right guys i hope you understand that right here i have been able to teach you how to rename columns right using a temporary name called alias using the as clause okay in subsequent videos where i'll be teaching you how to join multiple tables at that point i'll be teaching you how to use alias for renaming tables okay all right guys if you have not subscribed to this channel i will highly encourage you to subscribe because we have so many videos we are going to be um we are going to be publishing and we are going to be teaching a lot of things right here okay i will encourage you to also click on the bell for notification so you can be notified of our, of our videos and also comment below if there is anything you want me to teach you guys that i have not covered all right guys see you in the next class bye